What's on this is some brand new video shows commentary type thing and what I have for you guys today is a very interesting story about what happens to me and my friends at the mall or what we did so let's hop right into that. So it's just a normal day and everything me and my friends are just gonna like head to the mall hang out go around maybe do shopping buy shit just go around mess around you guys know like the whole deal but like me and my friends when we go to the mall or out in general. So we were going out and everything and like we were just like walking around the mall and everything and I think it was like me and like maybe like two other friends or whatever and we were like like, yeah, just like usual, they're just still walking around, fucking around, maybe recording. Like, to be honest, I think I was vlogging this day, but I just didn't get this one part. So, we were like just walking around, everything really bored. Like, we like went to our normal stores, GameStop, you know, just everything like comic book stores, GameStop, shoe stores, clothes stores, all that bullshit. Then we came across like like one store that, like, usually it's the last store we always go into, but it was Spencer's. Yeah, Spencer's. You guys already know the shit that's inside those fucking stores, especially especially in the back sections. So we decided to go into the way back and just like browse, which I don't know how you can casually browse in the back of Spencer's when you know they have this shit back there and everything. And we got a couple weird stares from the people that work there and everything, mainly because, you know, we're little kids, well, not little kids, we're like, we're, like, ranging from age 15 to maybe, like, 14, like, the youngest, and we were all, like, just, like, walking around back there, and yeah, like, I said, getting weird stares and everything, so, just to make everything just a little bit worse slash weirder, we decide to go, and, like, I think, like, one of the kids or whatever that we were with was just looking at, like, a lava lamp or whatever that he wanted to get, and so, like, we, like, we're walking out and everything, like, he didn't end up getting a lava lamp or whatever, which I don't know why that's important the story, but we were walking out and one of the kids that we were with stopped us and he was like I'll be right back we're like oh okay wonder what he'll be right back for so he's like so what I want to get is I just need like 25 cents left or whatever and my other friend didn't have any like money to spare him or whatever for the like extra 25 cents so it's just like oh okay I got like 25 cents or whatever just change anything because I think we went to Starbucks earlier and I hand him the change he goes running back to the counter and he comes back and we're like oh what'd you get because obviously he had nothing in his hand besides this little paper packet and I'm guessing if you could put two and two together a paper packet and you're running out of Spencer's he bought a fucking condom with my fucking 25 cents and his money put together, he decided to buy a fucking condom. Now, like I said, we're ages like 15 to 14, so we're a little immature. And I was like, okay, how exactly much was this? Like, that was the first question I asked him before asking why the fuck did you buy it in the first place? And he said, it's, it was a dollar. And I was like, okay, so, you know, the, the, the other, if you do the math and everything, uh, the 25 cents, so, okay, he had the, like, breasts and everything, so I was like, okay, it's not that bad. So, we go around the mall, and he still has it in his hand or anything, but then he decides, I'm gonna make a balloon out of this condom, and it was really fucking weird, because we were getting lots of stares from, like, people around the mall, wondering why the fuck we were making a goddamn balloon out of a freaking condom in the middle of a mall when there's kids around, and eventually, I think, we, like, one of, I think we're, like, all, like, I didn't fucking touch it, because it's just weird in general, I just didn't want to, like, make anything awkward for people around the mall, or get kicked out by security, for playing with the condiments at a damn freaking mall. So, eventually, I think, like, we, just, like, some of them, like, just threw it on the ground or whatever, and we just left it there, which, you know, it's littering, but it's a fucking condom, I'm pretty sure people are gonna pick it up and throw it in the trash, or if anything, probably fucking call 911, get a DNA test or whatever. But, so, yeah, that was about a story about how, like, one of my my friends bought a condom at Spencer's in the mall. So if you guys enjoyed this video slash commentary type thing, if you did, make sure to give a big fat thumbs up and subscribe for more of these crazy story type things. And I'll see you guys all later. Peace out, and peace out.